Hi, this is Merrill Jinks with the Big Helper Real Estate Group coming at you with the monthly market update for the community of Seville for the month of September 2018. Maybe when you watch the news or look at things on social media or different things like that, you're getting some information about what the housing market is doing, but oftentimes that's for the whole city or sometimes for the whole country. And oftentimes what's happening in your specific community is different. So we're gonna come at you every single month with what specifically is happening in Seville. So I hope you find it really helpful and uh, it helps you make some more educated decision about your biggest asset. Um, one important thing to know about these stats that I'm sharing is that they are only what has happened in the ML MLS, the multiple listing service. I'm not including non-MLS sales because oftentimes those are investor sales or iBuyer sales or selling to a family member sale and those homes are not selling for, you know, oftentimes fair market value or for the best possible price. Sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. So we're going to talk about the MLS sales specifically um, and, and give you a really accurate look at exactly what's going on in Seville. So right now in Seville, there are 28 active listings and those active listings range from 258,000 all the way up to $2.298 million. Price per foot wise, because that's a pretty big range, $128 a foot is the cheapest in Seville and the most expensive is $287 a foot. I know that's still a really big range, but I'll try to share some more things with you that maybe give you a better idea of exactly where you're at. There are 22 listings right now in Seville that are pending under contract accepting backup offers or have a contract contingent upon a buyer's sale. Um, and those range in value from 270,000 all the way up to 850,000. Only nine homes actually closed in the month of September, which is, a, is actually a very low number for the neighborhood. Um, interesting thing about that is um, that there were only 19 business days in the month of September, which is a little lower than normal. A lot of months have 21, 22. October has 22 business days. So uh, that could have had a factor on maybe a few homes that might have sold in a longer month, didn't end up selling in the month of September. Um, the average sales price of those nine homes that sold in September was 374,000. The average days on market, so you know, how long did it take for the, you know, the home to go under contract was 57 days, um, which is still about 20 days, uh, 15 days faster than the average for all of Phoenix. So homes are selling pretty quickly. The favorite metric that I really like to look at that tells me the temperature of the neighborhood, how hot is it and how hot demand is this neighborhood is called month's supply of inventory. If you sort of play a game in your head and say, imagine no new homes came on the market based on how many homes sold in September versus how many active listings there are, how long would it take for everything to sell? And right now we're at a 3.1 month supply of inventory, which is a little higher. Typically, Anything from about four months or larger is considered a buyer's market. Two months and lower is definitely a seller's market. Three, four months, three and a half months is a very, very balanced market. Now, last month it was, it was you know, below two. So I think what we're just seeing for this month is that very few homes sold in September. That kind of made that number go up. But I think in October, we're gonna see it probably go back into the twos, still pretty much considering it a seller's market. And we do expect home values to continue to rise. If you are at all curious about the value of your home, um, please give us a call. We'd be more, even if you're not thinking about selling, or maybe you are thinking about selling, we're more than happy to give you a very accurate look at what your home is worth. It's much more accurate than looking at the Zestimate or any of those online valuation models. We'll be able to actually look at what's in your home, what upgrades, what are all the beautiful things that you've done to it, and tell you what we think a buyer would be willing to pay for your home in this market.